Welcome to week 30. Um, I don't really have much to say about this week really, except for the last two days. Um, I've finally been getting the Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, it happened last night and the night before. At first, I thought, like the first time it happened, I thought that she was just sitting funny because I was laying in bed on my side and it just kind of came, I, I, I just, I don't know, it was just that like I was aware of where she was sitting exactly at that moment in time and then the sides of my stomach like tensed. It was really, like I know people say that you expect for your tummy to tighten but I've always thought that it was just like when you like squeeze your abs together, you know how you like do that. I thought it was that, but it was like all the way around. So that was very bizarre. Um, that one wasn't painful. It only lasted like 15 seconds. Um, just enough time for me to realize what was going on. Cause I, you know, I didn't think it was that. Um, and then it happened last night again when I was watching TV, but it was lower this time. Um, and it was just like painless again. It was uncomfortable for a little bit. That one was shorter, I think, for maybe 10 seconds. But they're not, like, bothering me too much yet, so that's okay. Um, I had my hospital appointment on Monday, and they want me to do another glucose test, two-hour one this time. Um, I haven't done that yet. He wants me to do it by the 11th of June, because <laughs> uh, that's when my next hospital visit is, but... Like my, my, my sugar last time, it was 6.7. I don't know what it was the time before that, but you know, I'm fine and she's fine. But because of my weight, um, I guess the hospital is very thingy about it. Um, but that's good that they're taking precautionary measures. Um, so I need to go back and do that. I'm feeling very breathless. Um, like I, We'll just be doing something and I'll have to sit back and be like, because <sighs> um, like I just can't breathe. Um, but that's to be expected because now that she's sitting higher. Um, I've felt her bump up against my ribs a few times. So I don't know if that's her head or her feet. Because um, I've mostly been getting the kicks and everything around my belly button. So I don't know where she is at the moment. Like I don't know what's going on. I can never tell where she is really. Um... She just moves around so much. Um, it's really hard to keep track of. <laughs> um, uh, something else I asked the doctor passing out. The hospital doctor asked me um, if I'd been wearing tight stockings for circulation. I said no, so he suggested doing that. And then I went back and saw my doctor to get um, – I've got a rash on my chest, so I needed some cream for that. Um, I went back to him because the hospital wouldn't give that to me because I didn't know what it was. Um and I asked my doctor and he said that because of my posture is so poor, like I've got terrible posture, but now that I'm pregnant, it's even worse. And I've like, there's more strain on me now. Um, he said that the muscles in my neck, you know, like carpal tunnel in your hand, the muscles kind of prevent circulation from getting through and they kind of prevent certain things from working. Well, that's like my head. Basically it's carpal tunnel for my head. And so when I have poor posture for a certain amount of time, he said that I should be getting dizzy and that if I do start to see the black spots, that means I have to sit down. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, he doesn't see why I have to do another glucose test. He he was very confused about that. But he said if the hospital ordered it, the hospital ordered it. Um, apart from that, everything's been really good. I haven't had leg cramps in, I think, two weeks or something, which is fantastic. Um... Because they're like, I've been getting them pretty bad for a while. I've still got my morning sickness. Um, that sucks. I think I may have a UTI as well. So I'm on antibiotics for that. Because um, I also haven't, my, when I took my nipple piercings out, um, I think it got infected. So I'm hoping that the mice and that I'm on covers both of the things. Although in the beginning, when I had the kidney infection, I didn't really have many symptoms. And... I'm thinking that that's why I had morning sickness so bad as well because sometimes it can cause vomiting um, when you're that sick. 
So I'm thinking that if I'm starting to get sick again and I think that I have a UTI or something's wrong with my kidneys or something, um, that could be related. So I'm hoping that once I finish this dose, I'll get my urine tested and see if that's all right. And if I'm still vomiting and stuff, that just means I'm unlucky. But my hypothesis is that I have a UTI or something. Like there's something more going on. Um, cause I've had morning sickness since mother's day and that was the second Sunday of May and it's now the 30th. So two weeks. Okay. It sucks. Um, it's not really me feeling sick. It's just a blah. It's horrible. Um, but at least I'm not straining and I'm not as sick as what I was in the first trimester. That was, oh my God, that was horrible. Um. But no, everything's really good. Um, I'm starting to sleep a lot better when I don't have indigestion, but that's coming back again, and I'm almost out of my tablets. So I think I'm just going to buy a big liquid bottle um, instead of the chewy tablets because they take half an hour to kick in. Um, and I found I went and guzzled some milk the other night because it was so bad, and then I laid back down, and it was like a milky reflux then. Like I was still getting... Like stuff in the back of my throat, but it it was milk that was kind of coating the acid a little bit. So it's really bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Um, but I did have a big dinner that night, so I kind of brought it on myself. It was so good, though. Oh, lemon potato. Um, apart from that, I don't really have any food aversions. I've been craving licorice, chocolate-covered licorice, so badly. Um... I went through like two or three packets in two days. I know that's really bad, but <laughs> it's really bad. Um, and then I was reading studies done that licorice in pregnancy causes behavioral and IQ issues later on in life and that it should be avoided and that it can bring on early labor and um, it presents itself in uterine contractions and all this, so <laughs> I don't know if that's where my Braxton Hicks have come from now that, you know, I'd eaten that much licorice and then I, I don't know, that would have been like a day or two later though, but still, I just think it's a little bit of a coincidence that, you know, it tells you that it brings on labor and contractions and stuff and here I am getting contractions after eating so much licorice, but um, yeah, so that would stop doing that. I don't know if I'm picking up my furniture this weekend. I tried emailing them and they were really rude. Um, they said they let me know by the 4th of June, which is... Oh, bastards. It's Monday. So I've taken all this time off because I usually work on weekends. I was working Saturday, but then I'd taken the Sunday off because I was going to go pick it up. That's great. So it looks like I won't have my furniture this weekend. <sighs> anyway, um, I went and picked up some, well, I bought them off of eBay because I don't know how big she's going to be. She was measuring really big, but no one will tell me how big. Um, I haven't had a scan since 20 weeks. Um, and when I go to the hospital and they measure my fundal height and stuff, they don't really tell me much. So I don't know how big she is. I think at 36 weeks scan, I have a 30 week, 36 week scan for sizing, but I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's basically week 30 for me. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is. I ordered um, a bulk lot of baby clothes from newborn size to double zero in winter and summer because if it's if she does turn out to be double zero and it's summer clothes I can just you know if they're shorts I can just put stockings on underneath um and like just put like a long sleeve shirt underneath that shirt and give her layers so you know I'm not too worried about seasonal differences because you can always work around that <laughs> but yeah 10 more weeks to go and I plan to be working up until probably 36, 37 weeks because I need the money. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's about it for me. Um, I still haven't got many stretch marks. There's just a few on the side and then 
like some stretchy spotty things on my boobs on my right side um everything's on my right side for some reason I don't know why but um they're not actual like stretch marks they're just like my belly is just like a, the smallest line it's like that long and then there's like two little stretchy mark things next to it that are like two centimeters um so not even an inch in if you're American whatever I don't know the American systems I don't know any inches <laughs> um but on my boobs it's just spots really like you can tell that it's trying to stretch um I haven't really had much itchiness on the top of my belly I have and on the sides where like I get itchy on both sides but the stretch marks are only on my right side which I think's you know, but it, like I'm still getting itchy, so I've been trying to put um, cocoa butter stuff on it, um, the stretch mark stuff. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think I'm done rambling. All my videos are just rambling and raving and whatnot. I'm still really hormonal and emotional because um, my shoulders and my back have been hurting so much. I asked my partner on that for um, a back rub the other night, and like he didn't want to when I kept on annoying him, and so he did it really rough. And because he didn't do it where I wanted him to do it, and because, like, he hurt, like, he didn't hurt me, but, like, it wasn't how I wanted it. I just burst into tears, and I was sobbing and sobbing and sobbing, and he sat there and laughed at me, and then, <laughs> like, in the beginning, he used to get really mad at me when I cried, because I cry over really stupid things, so he'd get mad at me. Um, but now he knows that it's just the hormones, and I'm just crazy, and so now he just laughs and gives me a cuddle. <laughs> That's basically how it happens now. And just like the fights, um, because my temper, I'll lose it like over nothing. I'll have no warning signs or anything that I'm about to lose it. And then I'll just flip out. Um, <laughs> he just kind of takes it with a great assault. Um, and will either laugh at me or start teasing me or like come up and do something to, you know, make me laugh. Like he, I don't know, there's just little things that he does. That I can't stay mad at him for. And so he does that and it calms me down. <sighs> Pregnancy is fun. But um, if you have any questions or whatnot, let me know. You know the drill. Sorry, this is another really boring video. <laughs>